Hey guys, welcome back. Now, this video is all about one of the biggest epiphanies I had from the annual Bitcoin conference that just happened in Miami. So I'm going to walk you through this big epiphany and it all has to do with Bitcoin's layer two, the Lightning Network. Okay, here is where I was just before last week. When it comes to Bitcoin, I fully understand and I buy into the argument of it being a superior store of wealth or digital gold. But when it comes to Bitcoin as a form of payment, it, for me, it just didn't make sense. So a currency has to be stable. Now, if something's going up and down 10% in a day, then it can't be used as a payment. Also, if I want to hold on to my Bitcoin, as a store of wealth, then why would I give it away by buying something? So whenever I would see pay with Bitcoin or see any developments using Bitcoin as a payment, I didn't really pay attention. Then Jack Mallers, founder of Strike, the leading Lightning Network provider, came onto the stage, gave a presentation, and for me, it all clicked into place. And so this is a really important video as finally one of crypto's most important use cases and the original purpose of Bitcoin is here. Now, remember, Satoshi Nakamoto did not create Bitcoin to be a store of wealth or digital gold. In the original white paper, it was created to be digital cash. So in this video, I'll walk you through the same epiphany I just had, starting with understanding the current payment system that we all use today as it was set up and it hasn't changed since 1949. Then the latest with the Lightning Network and why this new breakthrough payment system is a game changer. And then we'll finish with the big announcements made by Jack as this whole thing will be getting rolled out to the biggest stores in the world coming very soon. As always, if you do enjoy anything in the video, then drop a like, always appreciated. Okay, so whenever you pay for anything right now, whether it's through your bank, whether it's Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Cash App, Apple Pay, whatever, they all use the same payment system that was set up in 1949. It's one which is full of middlemen who all take a cut along the way and the actual settlement is an instant. It can take up to 14 days. So crypto's most important and original purpose is finally here and ready to go. So let me walk you through this. First up, we need to understand how payments are made today. Ready? Let's do this. So there's a consumer, there's a merchant. There's a $100 transaction. I go to Walmart, I wanna buy something for 100 bucks, let's say. So I got my card, they got their point of sale. But there's actually a lot more parties involved when I swipe at the register. There's actually five parties involved. There's the two actually participating, and then there are three intermediaries. First, there's my bank that issued me the card. Next. There's the bank that banks the merchant. And then lastly, there's the card network. So boom, I go swipe. I actually swipe the card. And here's what happens. The point of sale system hits up the merchant's bank and passes that card information. And they issue the statement for the $100. Then my bank, this is how it works, I swear to God. My bank goes, yo, I'm just gonna keep some of this shit, man. Jack's already walking out of Walmart. Nothing they can do about it. I'm just gonna take nine. I just take a couple bucks. So out of the hundred dollar statement, I'll take, I'll take two. I'll give you ninety eight. The card now is like Jesus, man. The brain on you. I'll do that too. Ninety seven, seventy five. And then the merchant bank's like, Shh, I'm in, right? Let's go. And then we end up with ninety seven. And so on a hundred dollar transaction, I spend hundred bucks. The merchant gets ninety seven dollars. And the 1949 payment networks take 3%, right? That's how it works. How it works. How it works. It was invented when my grandfather was my age, but it's literally what happens when I go to Chipotle. My cash app gives me a Visa card. Robinhood gives me a MasterCard. <laughs> Apple card, Apple, MasterCard. Even Apple Pay doesn't help. 
Apple Pay innovated in not letting me swipe the card, I just tap my phone. And so the current payment systems used today by banks and stores, whether it's Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Apple Pay, whoever, was set up and hasn't changed since 1949. That's over 70 years. And as you make a payment, a bunch of intermediaries take a slice along the way, which adds up to about 3%, and the payment isn't final. It can take up to 14 days to settle. So next, Jack and his company Strike have created a new way utilizing Bitcoin and Bitcoin's layer two, the Lightning Network. And here is how it works. I'd scan this QR code to make the $100 transaction. Fuck the boomer card shit. I'd be debited 100 bucks. Now, if there was software that exists, like ours do, unbeknownst to the user, it'd take my $100. So I'm not touching Bitcoin. S save me with the, like, Bitcoin's volatile, Bitcoin's like Elizabeth Warren. Just let me finish this presentation for a second. There's no capital gains tax triggered. There's no volatility. It's all good. Chill. Deep breath. Deep breath, Elizabeth Warren. And it turns it into Bitcoin. It takes the dollars and turns it into the magic internet money thing. And then it hops on to the superior premier. We just went over it. Fact. Data to data. Line by line. The better one. And the magic internet money, phew, at the speed of light, Value is moving towards the merchant. Just as it arrives, it goes back into dollars. Okay. So $100 spent, $100 received. There's no waza. There's no 2 to 15 days of settlement. There's no 3%. Bang, bang. And it doesn't have to be dollars. So now on the left, I change it to euros. I mean, it's, it's, open, it's open, right? It's open globally. Who cares? You want euros? Do euros. You don't want fiat? Keep Bitcoin, right? It's up to you. And as the merchant, you can, you can receive in BTC, take Starbucks points, I don't care, right? The point is we can recreate a superior payments experience with a superior payments network. That is the violent point. There is no compromise with this thing. Don't let people make you believe that. That's not true. So the main issue I had was not wanting to spend and give away my Bitcoin. But what actually happens is this. You make a payment and then in a click, it gets converted to Bitcoin, sent across Lightning and then converted back to dollars. So you are, but you're not really paying with Bitcoin. And I got confused with vendors saying pay with Bitcoin when it would be much easier just to say pay via Lightning. And also there's no capital gains tax triggered as it all happens in a millisecond and it settles instantly, no need to wait up to 14 days and there's no middlemen taking a slice of 3%. It's done almost free. So there you are, a way where Bitcoin not only becomes a great potential store of wealth, but also fulfills Satoshi's vision of becoming digital cash. But Jack didn't stop there. The next big hurdle is adoption. People have to understand this and begin using it. And Jack went on to make some very big announcements. So what would innovation look like? I'm about to show you. I'm about to reel off a bunch of announcements. Here we go. So first and foremost, uh, Strikes officially partnered with Shopify. So we did the e-commerce stuff. That's good. Now any online merchant that uses Shopify can accept payments without the 1949 Boomer Network, receive it instantly, cash final, no intermediary, no 3% fee, no, hey, I'm just going to hold on to that shit. But what about this? 80% of payments are still done in person. So that's why Strikes also partnered with Blackhawk. Blackhawk is one of the largest payment providers in the world for alternative payments. They have 400,000 storefronts and 37,000 partners. That, that, they're the ones that are behind shit like this. Have you ever checked yourself out at a CVS? You ever used one of these? 
And then my haymaker, we've also partnered with the largest point of sale provider in the entire planet, NCR. Because we just got to give merchants the new superior alternative payment network. And so this year, have you guys ever shopped at any of these? Any of these? Yeah. McDonald's, Walmart, Macy's, Best Buy. I mean, no, no, this is not in another country. This is not a test pilot somewhere. No, this is in the United States of America. You're going to be able to walk in to a grocery store, to Whole Foods, to Chipotle. You want to use a lightning note over tour? You do that. You want to use the cash app? You do that. Jack Mallers has just changed the game by enabling Satoshi's vision of Bitcoin becoming digital cash. Now I know there'll be a whole bunch of people out there that will be like, man, you didn't know this already and you create videos on crypto, what the beep? However, I also know if I didn't fully understand this and I follow crypto developments every single day, then there'll be thousands of people out there that also didn't understand this. So I humbly pass this on. So Bitcoin was arguably a superior place to store your wealth or digital gold, but it can now be the next generation of payments. As it can be done instantly, it cuts out all the middlemen taking 3% and it's as close to free as possible. And as you saw with the new partnerships with Shopify, Blackhawk and NCR, it's now getting rolled out to the biggest stores in the world, both online and in store. So there you are guys, hope you enjoyed. Do you think Bitcoin will become the next generation of payments or do you still think it's got some issues like scaling or will UST ultimately become the winner? Let me know below. But for now, just to say, if you did enjoy anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't yet subscribed, click below and join us. Got some great videos coming up that you don't wanna miss. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.